Hi there, my name's Bill O'Toole. Welcome to the Events Feasibility and Development Series. This one's on delegation. How do you get people to accomplish their task when organising an event? It's quite common for event managers to be overworked and one of the reasons for this is the inability to delegate, particularly if an event grows over many years. The system I show you here comes from working with event managers around the world. Now, if you're highly charismatic and your team will do just about anything for you, then there's no need to go further in this video. However, if you are like the rest of us, working with people from a variety of backgrounds on a temporary basis, then please watch closely. Tip number one, make sure the person you choose is competent. Competency is measured by the skills they have, the knowledge, and having the right attitude. For example, this person is not somebody I would hire for the electrics for one of my events. Next, it's important to identify the deliverable. The deliverable is the outcome of the task that you set them. This is where you really need a project management system in the planning so that you can identify what these deliverables are. For example, a site map. Now, this is just a sketch site map, but it's a deliverable for the site design. The person who will set the design of the site, I say to them, give me a site map. Next, it's a good idea to give them a number check list, even if they know exactly what to do. There is little harm in them having a checklist. They can actually check on your checklist to make sure that it's good. Then they can tell you what number they're up to. For example, here we see the deliverable is the contract and it's got to be sent to me on a certain date. These are the checklists they have to go through and I can easily call them and say, what number are you up to? And that is called the progress report. They have to make sure that they understand risk management. No event in the public sphere now can go ahead without an understanding of risk management. And if you don't know about it, then get some training. Like this. There's plenty of risks there. Next, make sure you have informal meetings, you know, over a cup of coffee or dinner with the team can uncover all sorts of issues that may not come up in reports. Not everything can be written down, as we know. Finally, do not wait for the actual event to reward good work. Celebrate when a major deliverable is completed. For example, the signing of a contract with the main attraction would be cause for celebration in the lead up to the event. There are, of course, lots more to this. However, I've presented an introduction so you know what the best practice in event management that's used around the world. And if you'd like more information, please click on one of the buttons below, the ones that are live, or go to my website, epms.net. It has lots of tips and tricks on the website. And happy eventing.